Many people are asking me to do the eye to see LCD error solving video. So again I am making the eye to see LCD error solving method video. This type I come with ESP32 microcontroller with eye to see LCD. The first issue is soldering issue. This is the perfect soldering. When you purchase the product LCD, I to see module will come separately. We need to do the soldering. But people will do many type of mistakes in the soldering. This is the solder joint error. This is not soldered or soldering partially error. Sometimes people simply keeping the I to see module and LCD without soldering. This is major error. This type of errors will not give the proper output for your project. So do the perfect soldering like shown in the picture. Second issue is the proper library selection. How to do the proper library selection I will show you. Go to the file and select preferences. Here copy the location. After that open any folder and paste in the address bar and click enter button. So that your library folder will open. After that open the library folder and delete all the folders. Because you may installed already many unwanted libraries. If this folders available in your library, it may create problem to show the text in LCD. Now we need to install the proper I to see LCD library. Copy the text and paste in the library manager. Install this library. This program is available in description. If you are using ESP32, this step required. If you are using other microcontroller, this step may not be required. Copy the link and paste in preferences location. After that open board manager. Enter ESP32. Choose version 2.0.17 and install. Don't choose the latest version. Installation will take 1 minute to 3 minutes. It is based on your internet speed. Most of the I to see LCD have address value is 27. If it is not working with 27, change to 3F in this place. Choose your board and proper port number. If you do not know the port number, see in device manager. Click upload button to upload program to your board. After uploading program, press RST or EN button in the ESP32. After pressing RST button, LCD light should go off and on. It means that your LCD address is correct. If it is not happening, change the value 27 to 3F and re-upload the program and again test with RST button. Still you are facing the issue in displaying text in LCD. Next step is, adjust the backside blue box screw slowly, and each time of adjustment, press the RST button in ESP32 module. In particular position, you will get the correct text in your LCD display. This screw is used to adjust the brightness of the LCD. I believe that you got output text in your LCD. If not watch this video once again, do the same process which is explained in the video. Surely you will get the text in your LCD. All the best for your project.